Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd really love that. If you're returning, how you doing? What we're going to be talking about today is what people are seeing and experiencing in everyday life when it comes to being of the prepared mind. And I get sent pictures and videos and emails. And if you would like to do so, my email is in the description box below. So this first email comes in from a community member and she says, I have a bunch and I mean a bunch of food that I want to rehome. Some are past the best before date. So most people turn their nose up at it who are not like us. <laughs> I switched to a 95% meat-based diet and I'm moving next February. Do you know anyone nearby or willing to drive to come pick it up? It is at least a trunk full of canned goods, uh, boxes of sides, etc. I need to make a run just to uh, store what I will eat. I know you might think, has she lost her mind? Um, no, I have not. I'm diabetic and my A1C was 13 at the beginning of May. Since changing my eating and consuming little to no carbs, veggies, or dairy is now uh, at an eight. Oh, that's awesome with no diabetic meds. Uh, still not good yet, but I'm heading in the right direction. Please let me know if you or anyone nearby want to drive to pick it up. I am home after 5 p.m. on all day on weekends. Once it's picked up, I'll increase canning meat to replace it. Thanks so much. Um, well, you did not give me your location. You just gave me your phone number. And uh, your phone number, like your area code doesn't, match mine so I don't know where you're at so um, email me okay so I can put you into contact with some community members okay <laughs> thanks oh well I take that back Palm Beach Gardens so if we have any community members who are in or around Palm Beach Gardens um, get a hold of me and I will put you into contact with this community member who is willing to give away a lot of our preps okay and here is a email from a community member along with some pictures. She said, can you can frozen zucchini spirals? I don't know. Can you make jellies from gooses? I don't know. He brought, uh, my mayor brought us some chicken patties breaded. So I'm glad for this man. Well, I'm glad for him too. Um, because I'm unsure if you can can those zucchini spirals, um, I would repackage them. Do you have a food saver machine? I would repackage them. That's what I would do. Um, because they might turn into mush because they're so thin. You know, they might turn into mush and you don't want that because then it, it's be, it would be like, you know, turning it into like, you know, like baby food. It would be like a mush, you know what I mean? So I would repackage them by using my food saver if you have a food saver, okay? Okay, so here's an email from a community member and he is answering a question that another community member had about veterans with food stamps and this, okay? He said, I, or so, so, sorry, sorry, she said, <laughs> um, brain. she said, I am the same vet, uh, Vietnam era, era veteran that wrote you a while back about my bank account, Wood Forest Bank, right, I remember you. I live in the once great state of Illinois and I do receive food stamps, a whopping $42 a month. Yay! <laughs> right, I know. It's like, what a slap in the face. For your listeners that are not aware of it, Illinois is a very blue state. As of right now, to answer your other viewers' question, there has not been any information that I have received from the state saying that I would be required to get that uh, in order to receive food stamps as of yet. However, I keep hearing numerous scares all over the internet about a new V coming out in September and that it would be required. I know I'm hearing about the mandates. I'm hearing about this. I'm hearing about that. Believe me, I know. And, uh, I'm hearing so much stuff, you know, about shut-ins and this and everything else. And I'm like, you know, God, here we go. You know? Uh, so she said, if that would be the case, I would just get out of the program and live off my preps. Take care of your finger. That looks painful. No, actually, you know what? It doesn't hurt at all. It really doesn't. Yeah. 
you would think that it would but honestly no it doesn't hurt at all yeah no nothing yeah <laughs> and now for a commercial break And now I leave you with some really awesome videos that were sent to me by community members. They are for educational and informational purposes only and entertainment purposes only, okay? But I think that they're really, really awesome, okay? I will see you guys in the next one. You stay safe, you stay positive, you keep prepping, and as always, fear less. Ciao. <laughs> hey America, this is something I just noticed look at this see this line here see this line where the pins moving now watch this see the pin points you see the pin points all the pin points watch see the pin point see the pin point see all the pin points This is where the fires started. This is the hottest points of the fires. Look at this. See all the grass? See all the trees? See everything is not burnt, but yet it jumped from all of these. See the pinpoints? See all the points? Look at this. To make sure that everything burnt, that they wanted to burn, all of the dark black dots, all of the pinpoints is where the fire got the hottest. Look here now. This is where it got the hottest. This is an overview from satellite. This is something you shouldn't be paying attention to. But we are. See the pinpoints everywhere you look. That's where a beam started the fire and it got the hottest. But people weren't looking up. See this? See the pinpoints? They had to make sure that it burnt everything that they wanted it to burn. So America, don't believe what the government's feeding you, because it's all a bunch of lies. So I was just thinking about um, the missing children in Maui and, um, you know, of course, everyone is really focused on, on that and trying to get to the bottom of how this happened and, and where are they. Um, but I was just thinking, like, where are the, where are the parents? Where are, like, if there's a thousand kids missing, then there should be a thousand plus parents out there. Um, also like looking for their kids, but they're, you can't find, you can't find anything about the parents. There's nothing on the news that, I mean, they're not doing like a, a segment on good morning America. Um, you don't see them at the press conferences. Like where, where are they? Um, like, I just, I just don't understand why they aren't being, um, utilized. 
people don't know this, but this is actually the right way to eat a cinnamon roll. We start by unraveling it from the center and- That is not the correct way to eat a cinnamon roll! <laughs> that is not the way you're supposed to do it! That is some false ass information about the cinnamon roll, and I don't appreciate it! You gonna have all these goofy ass children walking around eating the cinnamon rolls the wrong way! That is not correct information! You're supposed to eat the cinnamon roll right there! What the hell?